Thank you. Uh, Taiwan is a small country, <laughs> small island, but uh, have a um, dense population. And uh, um, um, the, our National Health Institute cover more than 99% of the population. And um, our uh, medical service is uh, um, with very, uh, have a very high quality, but very cheap price. <laughs> And Taiwan has a, a SCAR consortium uh, formed by a physician from different uh, medical center. For example, Chang'e Memorial Hospital is the first in initial sign we include patients, and uh, this hospital system ha has more than uh, 10,000 beds. And Taiwan has a Taiwan Drug Relief Foundation. This foundation is under the control of Taiwan FDA. And uh, they have a, a funding uh, rights from the pharmaceutical company. Uh, according to this uh, table, you can find that SJS and TN accounts for more than 50% uh, of the cases report to the Taiwan uh, Adverse Drug Relation, uh, Re Relief Foundation. And um, 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 we have a very good uh, uh, connection with the uh, SCAR starting group in the world. And uh, Taiwan, uh, Taiwan SCAR uh, consortium joined the uh, uh, Regis SCAR consortium since year 2000, 2007. Uh, the most common drug associated with the SCAR in Taiwan, uh, they are our opinion of and the and And we... Um, Analyze the the um, the uh, uh, anti-conversion drug associated with scar in Taiwan, and then we can find that the carbamazepine um, we can enroll the more than uh, about uh, ninety patients with carbamazepine induced scar, and the most of them are SJS and TN, and the very very few are um, drugs. Other aromatic anticonvulsants such as phenytoin and amortrigine also uh, um, associated with scar. But the, the, um, pain drug, the, 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 the drug uh, oscamazepine, it sh ha has a similar structure with carbamazepine, but the incidence of oscamazepine due to scar reaction is, is um, the incidence is very low in Taiwan. Um, we use a candidate gene approach and uh, identify um, actually B1502 is strongly associated with carbamazepine induced SS and TM. The um, associated strength is very strong, but the PPV, the positive predict value, is very low. And uh, this special idea is associated only. Um, associated with only carbamazepine induced SS and TM, but not dress. Uh, in our previous study, we can find that uh, HLA 3101 um, associated with uh, another phenotype, non blister re reaction. But the uh, associated strength is um, not so strong as that of uh, carbamazepine induced SZ and TM. And we collaborate with the uh, Regis SCAR and uh, confirm the, the um, HLA association is phenotype specific. And um, uh, HLS 3101 is associated with carbamazepine induced stress. And uh, in year 2011, um, uh, a prospective screen of HLB1502 in Taiwan led by Academia Sinica. And um, we enrolled uh, about 5,000 patients and uh, performed the uh, genotyping before prescribing carbamazepine. And uh, uh, this paper, we show that uh, there was no SJS and TN case. So Taiwan government um, um, decides to uh, cover the expense of HLB typing for carbamazepine new user since year uh, uh, 2010. And uh, so nowadays, there is a routine test uh, um, for the HLB-1502 genotyping before um, the patient using carbamazepine. So this is an um, example for the genetic test. Um, and the physician, um, they can receive such a report, and they also can receive the report from the cell phone testing. 
And uh, another example is that we report the uh, HLB 1501 strongly associated with our penal scan. And uh, we also can find that the association strength is very strong, but the PVV is also very low, only 3%. It means that um, most of the HLB 58 carrier in our population, for example, about 15%, they are tolerant to our penal. So uh, we have uh, another study to find out what is the non-genetic factor. We find that um, if the patient they have old age and uh, with uh, renal insufficiency, then many of such patients they have a um, higher plasma level of of of, of, of because the ospirino is the main metabolite of our pyrenol. and uh, you can find that. If the patient have a renal deficiency and the clinical renal uh, clinical uh, kidney disease, then the patient they have a uh, um, have a, the higher plasma level of ospirino. So nowadays, um, many um, physicians in Taiwan they they uh, can perform the genetic test for the patient, but for all of the patients in some hospital. But um, some hospital, they only provide a service for the patient with high risk. And we also report that HLB 1502 uh, is weakly associated with phenytoin-induced SJS and TM. The, the us ratio only five. So we have uh, another study published last year reporting that uh, the phenytoin related scan is associated with the uh, cytochrome P452C19. And uh, this study uh, was collaborated with the uh, Japanese and uh, Malaysia. And uh, the association uh, have the, has been verified in these two populations. And uh, the p-value is also very significant but uh, also ratio um, is about 12. And uh, in the plasma sample, you can find that uh, the patient have a delayed cleanliness, um, delayed cleanliness of plasma phenytoin in the scar patient, especially in the SJS and TEM patient. And uh, we can find the delayed cleanliness, cleanliness of the phenytoin in the patient carry the risk earlier. And the some patients, they did not uh, carry the risk earlier, but they also have a delay cleanliness of, of uh, the plasma phenytoin. Um, it is possible that the patient have a um, liver disease or uh, uh, kidney disease. And we also have uh, some study for the puzzle mechanism. And we report that uh, granulation is a key mediator for the skin death in SJS and TN. And uh, we suggest that uh, granulation could be the key mediator. And uh, we use uh, granulation as a disease target. And uh, we uh, perform some, some in vitro study and uh, suggest that um, um, granulation could be the disease target. And we study the uh, HLA drug and peptide T, T cell receptor interaction. Uh, we report that there is no uh, peptide change in the prevalence of carmazepin. And uh, but the specific associated HLB allele, they can um, have a higher affinity with the, the drug such a carmazepine or the metabolite, but not uh, have an uh, affinity to uh, the carmazepine. This is the metabolite of oscarbazepine. And uh, we have identified some sign could be the drug binding sign. And uh, we uh, report that uh, several specific T cell receptors may uh, be involved in such kind of uh, immune reaction. Uh, for the, our period case, we report that uh, ospirinol is the antigen of the uh, of a T cell, and uh, and uh, we identify some mutation site, some some specific site of HLB fifty L one is specific media to the drug presentation. So uh, there are many factors can contribute to scar. Um, 
in addition to the HLA, the metabol metabolite gene is also very important for scar. And um, also the uh, concentration of the active metabolite or the drug drug interaction is also involved in the scar. And uh, for the mechanism, um, the H some HLA may um, have a higher affinity to the drug, but that should need the help of a T cell receptor. And the other, other factors such as the uh, environment uh, pathogen may cause the, um, may the key point for the initiation of the immune reaction. Uh, thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Uh, thank you very much for that summary. Are there questions or comments? Do you know what the metabolite is that's uh, that's uh, binding to the uh, to the MHC? Binding to the MHC. So, so the the metabolite. You you did oh. some. HPLC, yes. I assume. Um, we uh, analyze the peptide. But the peptide repertoire has no change in the prevalence of uh, carbamazepine or the metabolite. And uh, if you ask uh, why is the metabolite binding to the MHC, we have uh, is there some metabolite and uh, the seminal drug such as the phenytoin or the But uh, most uh, uh, the higher affinity can only be observed in carbamazepine and uh, the apple side carbamazepine. But we did not observe uh, affinity in the decarbamazepine, that, that, that's the metabolite of oscarbamazepine. Yeah, Mark Williams Geisinger. This is actually a question from Maya related to the CYP2C9 star 3, uh, because my recollection from the JAMA paper is that that allele frequency in the um, ancestral population that you studied is quite low, where it's somewhat more frequent in the uh, northern European uh, population. So it's raised a question. Uh, uh, in terms of uh, whether there is a risk for phenytoin in Caucasians uh, that are more likely to carry the 2C9 star 3. And I was wondering if the Euroscar has looked at that specific question to determine whether there is a difference that can be detected. We're working on that currently, but I cannot tell you a result yet. Other questions or comments? Yes. Um, <clears throat> is there a diagnostic test that takes advantage of the information you've learned about granulysin and the T cell receptor that could be used to uh, more definitively uh, ascertain who will go on to develop SGST. And uh, for uh, granulysin, uh, because granulysin um, is a prevalence in our blood in healthy patient, um, if some patient you have a doubt of maybe he will develop SS or MPE, macular papillary eruption or DRACE, then you can examine the blood level of granulation. Sometimes the, the granulation level is increased in the, only in the SS and TM, but not in DRACE or MPE. Uh, for the usage of T cell receptor in clinical, because um, now that we use the NGS to study the T cell receptor, so we can find why is the T cell receptor repertoire of one individual, of an individual? So it is possible that you can use such a such specific T cell receptor chronotype to um, suggest why is the risk of the patient. But now that we find more than one, then, um, about 10 specific T cell receptor chronotype that associate with such kind of disease. So it may very complicated that you um, may it is not safe if you only use only one or two T cell corn type. Thank you. I think we're going to have to move on. Thank you very much. Uh, next, going back to uh, Europe. I assume England, England is still considered Europe, <laughs> even though they're not, they're not Euros. Uh, they're not Euro mode. Uh, Dr. Pir, uh, Pir Mohammed uh, from the University of Liverpool, the Weatherall Chair of Medicine in Liverpool. 